Hello, my name is Paris the Connoisseur. We're back with another video for Bougie on a Budget, Broken Bougie, Bad, no, I'm gonna move on. But yeah, here we are, and I'm no longer doing the AliExpress because I think I've run out of items, to be honest with you, to review. So I'm gonna be reviewing items that I've gotten from DHgate. And to be honest with you, I think I actually, wait, aside from buying the little off-white bag, you know what? Actually, let me say something else. If you don't like replica or fake things, get off the video. Moving on. Yeah, so I think I actually like buying things from DHgate more than I do AliExpress. My only problem with DHgate is sometimes the tracking information is in uh, an Asian language. And I don't read that and I don't know how to speak that. So sometimes I have to ask the sellers to like translate it for me so I that I know what I'm seeing or I know if it's coming but yeah things take about a month or so to come but right now we're gonna be reviewing or let's say comparing contrasting two bags the same bags that I paid two different prices for so this is the first bag that I brought it's an iridescent Louis Vuitton bag you know I'm, I guess I'm going to call it a clutch bag or a cosmetic bag. I don't know what's the actual purpose. But I've seen a lot of y'all girls buying the little regular brown and beige or whatever you want to call it. Monogram one. And walking around with it like it's a purse when it, I believe it's not a purse. But yeah. So comes in a box. I paid. Let me look on my phone real quick. Sorry, it's taking me a minute. So, for the first... Yeah, this is the first bag that I brought. And... It was $33.90. But... It was originally supposed to be like $37.90. But I had a little coupon. So, yeah. So it came in this little box. Yes, it was flimsy and cracked and damaged or whatever when I got it. I think there's another rip on the side at the corner here. But yeah, there's that. It says Louis Vuitton. I noticed on the other box that I got. Actually, let's compare them side by side. I paid $28 for this one. This one says Louis Vuitton, and I know you can see it. There's this little purpley, iridescent kind of feel going on right here. And this word just says Louis Vuitton in black. And it's small and it looks a little crooked. This one looks better quality wise. The box didn't come as damaged. And it just looks more put together. And this one doesn't. I also thought they were supposed to put Louis Vuitton Paris. Or Paris right under it. But they didn't. And it is what it is. I don't really know. But yeah. So this is the $28 one. Comes with a nice little dust bag that says Louis Vuitton. Comes with a fold over dust bag that says Louis Vuitton. Right? Actually, I'm going to move this out the way now. And this $30 one. Oh, it's not in the dust bag. My bad. But it comes in this dust bag that you have to slide it in from this end. Yes, it was like this when I got it all beat up and stuff. But it says Louis Vuitton. You have to slide it in from the side. It's the exact size of the bag. Now let's compare the bag. This is a monogram holographic bag. Actually, maybe me backing up with her. Yeah, it's a monogram holographic bag. It says Louis Vuitton right here on this right side up. And then when you go to the back it's the monogram part is wrong side up and I think from my understanding someone told me that it's supposed to be like that when you order um a monogram bag from Louis Vuitton they said that like on on one side it's supposed to be right side up and on the other side it's supposed to be wrong side up and if they're both right side up then that means it's fake or something is going on right and they also told me at the seams that the little flowers or whatever this is it's supposed to match up and line up with the rest of the monogram and stuff, but it does not. 
because I don't know if you can see it, but at the top right here, it says like, you know, the little end pieces and this over here, these little tips don't match up with this and this little piece of L does not match up with this circle. So, yeah. And also it feels like much more flimsy considering this is the one I paid more money for. And this says Louis Vuitton too. The hardware says Louis Vuitton. The hardware is also silver. There's the zipper. It's a little cheap zipper. Yeah, it feels flimsy. So now opening the other bag. It comes. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. So this one it comes with a fake receipt. Actually in the $30 bag that I had paid for in order. It was supposed to come with a fake receipt, but it didn't. But I didn't make any complaints because, I mean, it's not like I'm going to walk around and show oh, my bag is so real. It's not. I don't care. Like, that's not important. And I really don't understand why they include the receipts. Maybe it's to make you feel like, you know, you really got it and you're doing something. But you don't, and that's why we're here. So, yeah. So this is, uh, I think, a Hong Kong receipt. Louis Vuitton, Hong Kong, yeah. And this one is your actual printed receipt, and it says that the bag costs thirteen thousand and eight hundred dollars. There you go. Yes, I do know it's backwards because of my camera, but I'm sorry. That's just something we're gonna have to deal with. I am not a real YouTuber. I do not have a Cameron camera. I don't have a professional camera. We're using the iPad. So this is what we're gonna deal with. So we have another Hong Kong receipt. At the top it seems a bit faded and at the bottom the line is going through the words. So I guess that's a little slight mistake or something with the printing. But you know what? It doesn't really matter. It just says the same thing about the price again. And then here we have more Louis Vuitton stickers. I guess the first one and yeah. The first one and maybe the last one that you can stick on your box to just say Louis Vuitton with the serial code and bar number. I'm sorry. Yeah, serial code and barcode that you can put on your box to make it seem real or give you whatever kind of effect that you're looking for. And if you're asking why did I buy the same bag twice, one's a gift. And no, I'm not gonna give the lesser quality one as a gift because that would just be wrong. So, this is the bag, same bag, same, it says Louis Vuitton too, actually, let me see if this is bigger, nope, okay, the zippers and stuff are the same size, like I said about it being wrong side up on one of the sides, and right side up on the other side, and... I don't know if you would believe it, but like this one actually feels more sturdy. Like I, I can't just bend it easily as I can just bend this one easily. Like you see what I'm saying? And I'm actually applying like real pressure to this one and everything is not bending. Actually, I feel like they got plastic still on here. Yeah, they had a little bit of plastic. But yeah, okay, so there's that and then um know the sides do not line up exactly with the rest of the little monogram oh no these uh let me back up these little flower things do not match up with this one this point does not match up with this circle and so on but let me see if the zippers move any different if one Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Okay. At first, this one was... They zipped the same. But I did have a little struggle with this zipper. I guess it's because, like... I don't know if it's because of the way the uh, zipper is sewn on. But when I, like, go to pull back the zip, 
it like it lifts up and I don't think it lifts up as much with this one because it just glides but this is comparatively a better bag yes this one is thin too but like the little uh, stitching on the side isn't busted and you can fold and it's a fold over to put your bag into which makes it easier than having a struggle to put the bag in oh and when I received the bag it came with this little air pocket thing I guess to help hold the shape of the bag and it was in the inside I, t I had took it out before the video started so yeah but basically it shocked me a little bit that I paid $28 for this bag and I paid like 30 something for the other bag and the other bag is like more flimsy and the box is a little busted but this one is more sturdy and the box looks better for $28 but you know what that can also be a thing of just about finding a seller and everything because I'm not even gonna lie to you when I ordered the first bag I didn't even know Louis Vuitton came out with the iridescent duffel bags and iridescent this and iridescent that I just I literally just like went on DH gate one day and seen the iridescent bag and I was like oh I want it it's cute da, 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 da. and I tried to like do the image search thing where like you screenshot something and you go search by image and no other people were selling the bag so I was like okay let me just buy it from this little person and so I brought it and it was not as great of color of quality as I thought it should be but you know it still nonetheless it looks looks nice gets the job done but I recommend you to buy one that's 30 something when another one is 28 and it feels better doesn't bend as much no I would not don't go buy the more expensive one wait a few months or weeks or whatever and see who who other sellers are popping up with the bag see if these other people are reviewing the bag and they look more sturdy and they look more well packaged than this and that and also if you see another person get sent the same bag and I don't know maybe it comes with receipts or a little gift than yours didn't just ask the seller because you know what maybe they might have forgot to put it in and they would just mail it to you if you're that concerned but yeah so far I've actually had good experiences with DHgate and also yeah let me just hold this up okay so that's gonna be my thumbnail but thanks for coming I enjoyed you hope you enjoyed me enjoyed your time here and this is the end of the video. Bye.